Right now, the whole scientific community is celebrating the discovery of seven exoplanets, and out of them, three are in habitable zone. Previously, also we have discovered such planets. If we look at the figures, then 3,583 exoplanets have been identified so far. A record number of 1,467 exoplanets have been discovered in the year 2016 alone. But why is this discovery getting so much attention? Because it is just 40 light years away from Earth, and this makes it one of the nearest exoplanets discovered ever. The planets lie in our own galaxy in Aquarius constellation, far from any potential black hole, and their surfaces are rocky, and they most likely contain liquid water. On an average, one to twenty days comprises a year. That's really great. We will have frequent birthday parties then. While being on any of these planets, we'll be able to see the atmospheric features and cloud formation of neighboring planets. These planets are tidally locked, which means half of the planet is day and half is always night. Isn't it a bit monochromatic? And if plants grew there, they might be red or black. The sun of these planets is 6,500 times less energetic and 200 times less intense, and it would bloom six times larger in sky, and daylight would be red orange. This star system will probably outlive us. After billions of years, when our sun will die, Trappist first will still be a young star and will live for another trillion years. But wait, how will we reach there? By our fastest spaceship. It will take at least sixty thousand years to reach there. New scientific discoveries like EM drives, warp drive, wormhole, and star shot can be the probable answers. But who knows what can possibly happen in near future? And so far, there is no sign of alien life on those planets. But aren't you curious to know that how many planets are there where alien life can exist? The answer lies in a very cranky. Yet fascinating paradox, the Fermi paradox. So to understand this, let's take an example. If we consider each planet of our galaxy where life exists as a piece of property and distribute it among the Swedish population, which is of approximately 10 million, then each person will get at least one such planet. And if we apply the same illustration on whole observable universe, then each Swedish individual will become the owner of. Hundred billion such planets where life exists, or more simply, it can be better assumed by the fact that every grain of sand on Earth represents at least one planet where life can exist. Isn't it unbelievable? But that's what the paradox is all about. So why are we exploring so curiously? Why are we searching for new possibilities in outer space? Because mankind was born on Earth. But it was never meant to die here. You all don't worry. Space agencies are already busy searching all these planets. For now, you just search our subscribe button and subscribe us for more.